Hey there, I'm Gary Potter. In this lesson, let's take a look at concepts for practicing the Lydian mode. So for this exercise, the backing track that we're playing over here is just a repeating sequence. And we're going to practice the C Lydian mode over this. And we're going to do this starting right on C on the 8th fret on the 6th string. So the pattern is going to be 8th fret, 10th fret, and 12th fret on the 6th string. And then the 9th, 10th, and 12th fret on the 5th string. 9th, 10th, and 12th fret on the 4th string. 9, 11, and 12th fret on the 3rd string. 10 and 12 on the 2nd string. 8, 10, and 12 on the 1st string. So the whole pattern would be... And the formula for a Lydian scale is basically the root, second degree, third degree, sharp four, fifth degree, and then sixth degree, the seventh, and then the octave again. So the Lydian scale is basically a major scale with the sharp four or sharp eleven. So this is also the same thing as the key of G. So it's a G major scale starting on C. This example, I'm going to play this Lydian mode in quarter notes, eighth notes, eighth note triplets, and sixteenth notes, starting on this C here, over the backing track. how this scale sounds very mysterious over the chord. This can be a really great writing tool for solos or improvisation or melodies. You can really do a lot with the sound and it's, and it's a much different sound than just simply using the major scale. So let's try to improvise over the backing track using the scale. how I was using more than just the 8th position. In the improvised solo, I was going up to the 12th position and then working my way back to the 7th position. Ultimately, you want to be able to use the whole neck and know the scale anywhere on the fretboard. We have all the patterns that you can practice with on the website there. So just really pay attention to how that F sharp in this key really sticks out. really hope you enjoyed this lesson. Take a look at the link that's right below the video here, and that will take you over to practicetheguitar.com, and there you will find 15 different tempos for this backing track. 100 beats per minute is free. You could just jam along, play whatever you want, or if you wanted to practice some of the concepts that we're working on in this video here, check it out. See you next time.